Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to TechSmart, and you know what time it is. It's time to open up some mystery boxes. So in case you guys don't know how this series works, check out the iCard right up there with all the older episodes where I explain it just so you're filled in. Basically you're gonna go on this site called eBay, buy these things known as mystery boxes, which could be crap. Recently, I've been getting a lot of crap, so we don't know if this series is still gonna work. Drop a like if you guys are still watching and enjoying it from episode one, because episode 10 is gonna be big. I got something crazy planned. So without further ado, let's just jump into eBay. Haven't said that in a while either. If you can tell me the last time I said without further ado, drop a comment down below. I'll pin it. You're gonna have to go way back like 2015 2014 might even be yesterday. Don't even know. All right, let's do this Let's just start by searching Mystery box. It's always the classic. You never know what you'll find. There's some new listings Sort by new. Whoa, we got a brand new mystery box posted today The Lego mystery box. This is kind of interesting. I've never seen one of these before. It's going for 50 bucks What with $17 shipping? Are you serious? That's like 40% of the box cost right there. Alec, you got 62 feedback. You're about to not have a good 63rd feedback, if you know what I'm saying. All right, this is a brand new Lego set, sealed, guaranteed to be worth its value. Why are you telling me what I'm gonna get? Just let me buy it and have some fun. All right, you know what? I'm giving my first Lego set a run for its money. I got it in the cart. Let me search for Lego mystery box and see what else comes up. Oh, wow. Just that one? Really? There's a lot of Scooby-Doo stuff going on here. Okay, the mystery machine. That would make sense why eBay's showing me it. Let's do mystery box retro. Nothing? This could be, this series could be coming to an end. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Mystery box tech. Just, we'll keep it standard and classic. $24, but there's a $25 value. So we're making a penny. Free shipping from New York. Not good feedback. Bengal Morph. 29 feedback, 89% positive. Let's see what some of these negative reviews are like. Four negative? Oh, this has got to be good. Whoa! 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 This is why we read it. On all four mystery boxes, this guy's sold for right around the same price, between like 15 bucks and 25 bucks. Items smell like animal pee. Not happy, told him it's for my eight-year-old son. He got nail polish and other pink. I got macaroni. I'm actually... <laughs> He got the macaroni! <gasps> no way! Said the items would be worth $50 or more. Didn't listen to what I wanted. During the past six months. So these are all pretty recent. Wow! I just gotta buy it and see if he's full of crap. I'm interested. 25 bucks. What does the description say? Please add a note when you purchase. And tell me a little bit about yourself so I can build a better box. High quality items and collectibles. No junk, nothing dirty. What if I'm into the dirty items though? You know, it doesn't have to smell the best. You know, some used stuff, hook it up. All right, I'm just gonna let this one come to me. We'll see what happens. Search mystery box weird. Ooh, wow. The minute you put weird in there, it gets real expensive and they're all apparently for YouTube. YouTube subscribe. <laughs> Can't even talk. YouTube surprise, weird items, fun box, scary, gross, edition, mysterious, bizarre. Whew. You know when I can't even talk, I'm just stunned. I got two boxes in the cart. Weird and wacky mysteries, electronic tech box for six grand? Whoa. Yay. Maybe this is the one we need. Maybe this should be episode 10. If we hit a big goal, I'll actually spend like five, six thousand dollars on a box. That's the biggest risk I've ever taken. Okay, I'm just gonna get back to mystery box. Come on, find me some good boxes. Okay, so for 99 bucks, this thing just got posted today. Mysteries box, random box, gadgets, jewelry. Okay, I'm just gonna click it. It's from Burbank, Illinois. Okay, shout out to you. Gotta love the people from Illinois. Awesome mystery box will include brand new items. You will have fun unboxing it. That's what I'm gonna hold them to for 100 bucks. Trunk products, good feedback, bro, good feedback. Let's just do this. Give me something crazy and different. Mystery box. I don't know how much crazier I can get here. Ooh, lot of vintage items, mysteries box. Step back in time, opening a box of vintage items. For 50 bucks, good feedback. He looks like you've been doing this for a while. You've been selling mysteries. Probably got a mystery machine. Whew. Okay, mystery box. The fifth and final box, unless we find some more good stuff, but it's not looking like it. Okay, you know what, I wanna see. I really wanna see if we can make some money on these. That could be another episode. 
So for 20 bucks here, I'm getting more than a 30 plus value. $3 shipping from Indiana, gotta love all the Midwesterners, comes with random items. Good feedback and only four feedback. I'll be your fifth feedback. Add this thing to cart. We're spending 265 bucks in this video. We got a lot of interesting stuff coming, so I'm gonna place the order and see how long it takes. Just I'm gonna tell you this, over the last few episodes, it has taken like four weeks. Some boxes are showing up now that we're in episode one or two. You get the idea, it's getting crazy. Here we go. Now we wait. So it took about a week and all the mystery boxes just came in. And before we open those up, big thanks to Autel and the Evo drone. This thing's actually really sick. So what's sweet about this is 4K 60 frames per second video with the gimbal all built in. I'm impressed. Like this drone has a good amount of weight, actually comes with a carrying case, which is kind of nice, especially for traveling. And what's pretty sweet is you can take both the Evo and the controller. And if you have pants big enough, you actually pick this thing up at like Best Buy or link down below. Send me a picture of you doing this and I'm, I'll retweet it. I'll retweet the first person on Twitter. So what's also really sweet about this is the range. I kid you guys not, this is one of the longest distance drones I've ever checked out. And that didn't even make sense, but check this out. 4.2 mile range. So for under $1,000, you get all this. And what's sweet is, on the bottom, it actually has two cameras. So when it's flying, it creates a 3D render. And that's kind of something new I haven't really seen in too many drones out on the market. This thing's awesome. If so you want to check it out, the Evo's linked down below. Now let's open up some mystery boxes. These took about a week to get here. And I mean, we might as well just talk about it because the elephant's in the room. We got one box that apparently didn't come in a mystery box. It came in a mystery bag. And since there's a lot of products always coming through the TechSmart Studios, we just opened it and apparently it was one match the tracking up. And quickly vote up in the iCard which box you think is the best. What is this, women's? Oh my, what? Dude, what is this? Josh has no idea, uh, do you have a clue? Colored and uh, festive leggings. So if you need a festive legging, look no further. We got the young Santa leggings, bro. So I, I didn't think I was gonna try them on. Uh, Josh said, try them on, you'll look really cool. And hey, you know, maybe, maybe it might help in my favor. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if leggings are the new vibe. Well, I like these, I'm keeping these on. So box one, I think, no, bag one, right? That was comfy. Box two, postage due. People are charging $15 for shipping and then apparently not even paying for it and expecting the post office to not take their, their Lego set. This is a Lego set. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a DC comic superhero, so like, you know it's good, right? All right, let's try this thing out. Yes, my favorite. Dude, if I was a Lego channel, let me know in the comments if, if there are Lego channels on YouTube. I feel like there would, there's everything on YouTube, but do they spend like hours building it or do they like time lapse it up? I guess I'm about to find out. Whoa, that's so sweet. So I came across this channel, it's called Jang Bricks. He actually put together the Nightcrawler. So I was kind of just going through it and skimming. He does a really good job. I'm gonna leave his link in the description of this video if you guys wanna check it out. I've made four wheels and I put a minifig together. I'm just gonna cut it there. I don't wanna embarrass myself anymore. This is so bad, but probably really good if I had like an hour. I mean, Jang Bricks did it in 10 minutes, so. Here we go. Woo, this is getting interesting. We have individually wrapped items for more mystery, right? Wow, so the first thing, we just gotta go into all of this is please don't be used. Oh my God, it's actually used. It's a used dish rag, dude. It's literally a used dish. It's a used dish rag. Oh man, oh man, oh, please don't be a used spoon. No, no, I can feel it. No, no. No, what is, okay, okay. Nice little fan. Like, I, I, I didn't know if it was, oh my, no! No, it's another book. No, no. I think it is a vintage box, dude. That's when you know. I don't even know what I ordered half the time because it just shows up. And I think, here we go. These earrings? Oh no, they're brooches. The fact that I know this upsets me. Nice little gold necklace here. Hopefully this was worn by someone when they were living. Enjoying this person's life. Like, literally, this is like an obituary in a box. <laughs> I got it! They they confused the moving box with the mystery box. Oh my God. Dude, they literally got the mystery and the moving box wrong. This is someone's life we're going through. Oh, you're No, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. We have a necklace. Was there a photo? 
I'm like actually trying to find out if this is like a murder mystery here, right? I don't even know. At this point, I think she lived on a farm. No! No! I said I wasn't gonna open it and then I pulled it from the wrong side of the bag. No, this was someone's life. This person was probably a singer, an artist, a dreamer. Should I even put this up to my face? No, there's probably germs on this. Take a bath in Purell after this. Okay, so pocket camera, Fisher Price. I think this was a little past my time. I wanna say this was like a 90s or like a late 80s toy. I don't know how I can tell. I wanna say maybe like the logo. You guys let me know in the comments if you play with this toy. I think you guys probably would. I don't even know. Like, I do not even know, so. So box three had to be the weirdest box I have ever seen in my life. So box four, please don't be someone's life. Okay. I love it, dude. I love it. We got our first Funko. I think this might actually be my like second or third Funko. Funkos are like these collectible um, figures. I don't want to call them action figures. You guys let me know in the comments if you're into Funkos. And then a Pulp Fiction collectible. I've never seen Pulp Fiction. All right. And ooh, we got jewels. And jewels. Hey, are you subscribed? Oh, of course I'm subscribed. I got them notifications on, fam. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. High five. All right, and finally, for box five, the final box, the one that has a question mark on it, and honestly, the one that I'm most curious to check out, but let's just jump into this. So all these have question marks on them. All of them? Ooh, something cool. All right, a dancing water speaker. All right, let's check that out in a sec. Oh, wait, did, no, wait. All right, this is a reason I hate using knives. I think I accidentally cut into the poop emoji. That makes noises, really? You guys know what site this is, right? It's called YouTube. Welcome to Donut Tube. Sometimes you got the gold rolly, and then other times you just kind of want to feel iced out with the VVS, right? You know, just like grill it up. And of course, a nice little checkout item that you'd always find right before the cash register, some flarp. You guys can guess in the comments what Josh just said. <laughs> the flarp. Has to be the greatest item I think we've ever received in a mystery box. Whoa, this is awesome. So it's like a strawberry frosted with sprinkles donut. Oh yeah, it's a remote control robot. So 1.5 volt batteries. I don't have those. I, I have honestly not heard of those before. It's a remote control robot, honestly for $5. I'm just gonna let you uh, hang out with the flarp. And this is like the most interesting one of all. The louder dancing speaker. This could be the greatest item in the entire video. I know love that keeps me calm in the storm. On the max volume. It keeps the blood inside of me warm. For five bucks? Whatever I go and never leave. I would say that's pretty cool. For five dollars, nice little water speaker. It goes when the lyrics go. And dude, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys want to see some sneak peeks, they're over on Instagram. Post them on the Insta stories. That's it for this one. If you guys liked it, make sure to drop a like and click subscribe right down there by hitting that circle button. If you guys want to see more and more episodes of What's Inside the Mystery Box, check out the other two videos right over here. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.